It's okay. All right. So, um, could you tell me who you are? And uh... I'm John Grunsfeld. I'm the head of science for NASA, and also an astronaut. I'm known as the Hubble repairman. Okay. And so you've been to the Hubble three times, correct? Yep, that's right. All right. And so thank you for Nick Moss and uh, what was it? The STIS and, and the advanced camera for surveys. The yeah, yeah, that camera was the other three. one. Yeah, the wide field camera yep. three and the advanced camera for survey. Those are the two that are really good. Yep. Um, so could you tell me what you're doing here at South by Southwest? Oh, we're at South by Southwest 2015, we're doing a panel that's going to cover some of the Hubble culture discoveries and talk about the next great observatory, the James Webb Space Telescope, which is going to go where no Hubble has gone before, going into the infrared, seeing deeper into the universe, peering into the places where planets are forming, covered by dust that the Hubble can't see. Nick Moss can see a little bit of it, but we can go even further with the James Webb Space Telescope and study galaxies and everything else. So with James Webb and Hubble getting to work together and, uh, and Hubble's limited IR capability and Webb's immense amount of IR capability, we're going to be able to get Webb running a little bit faster so we because we can cross-confirm stuff with Hubble and things like that maybe? or James Webb Space Telescope will launch in 2018. We're hoping Hubble is still operating through at least 2020, but we don't actually know. Uh, so we're really hoping there's overlap with James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope. So together, they'll be much more powerful. All right, great. And um, I was in a meeting at Space Telescope this past fall, and uh, one of your deputies was talking about how you, well you tell the story of the Hubble. So I was wondering if you could tell the story of the Hubble with like the Hubble heroes and the white knights and stuff. Well, this is a, really a story about how NASA communicates and something that you know, you're working on in your work to become a better communicator. Uh, the Hubble story is one that's so fantastic that it's one that NASA engineers, scientists, and even people in public affairs could never have come up with. Uh, it's too wild, it's too crazy, and it involves you know, this promise of a great telescope that's then launched and is flawed, and so you create the underdog. And the underdog is not the Hubble, it's NASA. All of NASA is on the line, because if we can't even build and launch a telescope that works, it doesn't see straight, how could we ever build a space station or go to Mars? And so all of NASA is on the line when we send women and men in white spacesuits to the rescue, just like the old westerns of the past, you know, the folks with their white hats, you know, riding to the rescue. And in fact, they did rescue Hubble. They fixed Hubble, they put on the contact lenses that allowed it to see straight, and then over a series of other chapters, Hubble got stronger and did more amazing science, made discoveries that you know, people never imagined. And it, it would make a nice short story, but at that point, the gyroscopes on Hubble failed and Hubble went dark. And so astronauts, we had to go back. That was my first Hubble mission in 1999 to rescue Hubble and put in new gyros and new computer. And the story just kept going on with things breaking and we'd fix it. And finally in, in uh, 2004, the Hubble mission was canceled because of the tragic loss of Space Shuttle Columbia. And so it sounded like that was going to be the end of the story and it was going to be kind of a downer. But then in 2006, Mike Griffin put Hubble back on the manifest, asked a crew to go back to the Hubble, and I was on that crew. And in 2009, we went back and did a complete makeover on Hubble, such that now, five years, six years later, it's operating even better than ever, and we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of Hubble. So if you ask, how does it end? I don't know yet. The story is still ongoing. All right. Thank you so much, sir.